Hey, g'day everyone, it's Tamajan here from SL Colonies, and today I'm going to be introducing to you the new vineyards that we are releasing uh, very shortly. Uh, I know a lot of players have been waiting for vineyards to become available, and it's been a long time in the making, but they are finally here. Now the vineyards will grow various uh, vine-based fruits. Right now they're set to grow various types of grapes, uh, but we will, in the future, of course, add things like you know black currants and other uh, berries and things that grow on vines. <coughs> that would make sense for this field. It's also one of the first fields uh, that don't use the plow. Um, it does use a new tool that was released a little while ago, and the recipe's out there if you're willing to reverse engineer it, and that's a hoe. Um, which I'll show you how it works in a moment. Uh, also, uh, so these grapes, um, you can eat them as is when you harvest them, um, but uh, you can also, uh, you'll be able to bring them to a, pr a juice press and make various juices, uh, grape juice, um, other fruit juices as well from this juice press. Um, but then this juice um, also goes into the uh, various brewing, uh, brewery kit, um, things to ferment into wines and get your wine barrels and things. So I'll show you how it all works right now. So here I am inside the main store. I'm going to res one of the vineyards. Um, more than likely, I think I'll go with the medium one because that will fit here and I'll leave it here as a demo for players to use. So here we go, medium. So we do have, uh, we are going to have three sizes. I'll show them quickly to you. So the regular large one for people that have the land, um, it does, they all take the same amount of time uh, before they're um, ready for harvesting. Uh, but um, they um, require less seeds if you're getting the smaller ones and you'll get less harvests if you're getting the smaller ones than the large ones. So large one is the usual 10 harvests. Um, so this a large one, then uh, I'll res out a small one as well for people that have really uh, small amounts of land that don't have much land available. So this is a small one. Um, you can put it on any plot really. Um, so we're catering to all our players now. But this will only have one harvest as opposed to the 10 from the large one. And we also have this medium one, which has five harvests. Now we're going to be doing this with all of our fields, not just vineyards. So right, let's place this in a nice place so it stays here in a store um, in the future as well. <coughs> right, so um, so this is a bit different than the usual field. So you don't need a, a plough, you need a hoe. So here we go, we'll use the hoe here. So this is the tool and you'll just um, start working it. Now with this one you can move around. Now we're going to do this with all of our fields. So say for example our large fields that require a plow. The medium fields will still have a plow but um, the small ones you'll be able to use a hoe instead of the plow um, because it makes sense you're not going to be running around with a big uh, plow going through a tiny little field plot. You could just have this and move around as you wish. Well, we'll just wait for the plowing to finish. We've also finished the final uh, stage, uh, changed the final stage as well, which I'll show you when we get there. So you have to plow first. <coughs> And now you'll need to place your seeds. Uh, I've clicked it by accident, it tells me I don't have a seed bag. Right now I think there's three types of grape seeds. There's the red and white um, wine seeds and uh, regular grapes I believe. <coughs> so you'll seed here, wait for this process. So as usual you can move around if you like with this.
and then the next stage is going to be watering. Now, uh, with the growing stage, I have uh, decreased the growing time to 60 seconds instead of the usual one week, just for the demonstration purpose. So you'll see the grapes, or the vineyard growing um, much quicker. After this video, I'm going to uh, reduce, uh, put it back to one week growing time. And I'll explain the difference with the harvesting as well with this one. Alright, so this is a growing stage. So the grapes or vines will grow along the fence line. Before they're ready for harvesting. So with the harvesting, we've removed the need to use a sickle because uh, it doesn't make sense to use a sickle on your little fruits here. <coughs> and um, instead of consuming a basket every time you harvest, you're going to use the durability of your basket to take a harvest. So this is ready to pick now. So we'll grab a small basket. All right, and these... Instead of using a sickle, as I said, you just use your gathering on a basket and it will use one of your durability on the basket itself. Every time you harvest, you have a chance to receive a minimum of a certain amount of grapes and a maximum of a certain amount of grapes. grapes it's uh, randomized. This is the same with all sizes of fields. So this only has five times you can harvest this field. It will tell me in a second anyway, once done. So again, five CXP, four left to harvest. I received two grape seeds, um, two of the item grapes, seeds, and five of the item grapes. So you still have chances of getting more seeds back as well. Um, and once you've done your five harvests, it will reset and you'll start all over again. So as usual with the videos, um, if you've got any questions about the product, um, feel free to comment below. Um, you can also obviously message um, on Discord or in... Uh, personal messages and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys next time.